really good. It's been about an hour. This is the milk pudder, so we got about an inch or two on that side. And then I guess we got a little few mosquitoes running around, so I see one don't fill them a candle. So this is where we are right here. As you can see, this is a little more melted down, but it still has a bit there, so it's still like a bit in the middle. And it's still not hot. I'm gonna get this little, this little creature out of here. I started burning this at 244, and it is currently 815 right now. So we got clean sides. I can clearly pick up the jar, it's not hot. The melt pool is not too deep, and we still have a bit of hang up on the sides here because it is obviously burning a bit faster than this one is because this one has fragrance in it. The flame is a little taller than before. Could use a little trimming, but it is still fine because honestly, there has never been any soot or smoke with this, so that is really good i'm so used to that but there is none and also the uh, hot throws like really really good as well i closed the door and i can still smell the scent through the door and i made this candle let me see i think actually ooh, this this i messed up because i was supposed to test the candle that i made on the second but i oh no not even the second i made a candle on the 29th the second and the third that's when i made the rest of the candles on the third and i made a few candles on the second of march and i made the first candle on oh i think this was the first candle okay so no so a few of my candles that were scented testers i made on the second i think it was four of them and then the rest of the two or three i think it was two uh i made on march 3rd i think i made this candle on the third I was supposed to test the ones that I made on the second because today is the sixth, so it would have been what? I think what? Almost five days? I think it's four days, but five to four days or four to five days since uh, I made it, so that would have been a cure time. And the cold throw is really, really good on these, and these only gotten stronger. So even from the first day I made them with the hot throw, with well, the cold throws are really good, which was very promising to me, testing of the hot throw. And also it is good. Um, and it can only get better from here. So I wanted to let them sit a little longer. And I'm just like, well, I'm probably gonna let the other ones sit a little longer. This one I already know is a, a really good thrower. Um, and it smells good, you know, I'm also in the close vicinity of it. At least it smells good, it's a smaller candle, so, you know, you shouldn't expect it to go all the way down the hallway, but you can. Um, so I think it's, it's good, um, and I think it can only get better from here, you know, just by having to cure a little bit longer, and which, which I've heard is the best, you know, thing for this, so I was worried about, you know, testing a little too early. I won't say it throws as hard as my paraffin wax because it's paraffin and this also has a bit of sway in it but it does you know have a scent through it all so it does smell good and like i said if you continue to let it cure it'll be better than this but i think we're off to a really good start because the cold throw is amazing and so is the hot throw the hot throw is pretty good as well so we're just going to continue to test these and then see what happens it is currently 11 right now so as you can see it has totally got the size of the jars so even the last hour it um cleared majority of the jar but the milk pool wasn't even this deep and there was still like this much of a hang up here like legit just like this little square around uh 10 o'clock and this is our milk pool now as you can see so the only milk melted piece we have is here this is a little cloudy of course and this uh wax does give me um wet spots which i'm very familiar with you know with this jar well with, with my not this jar. i don't know why i thought this was my uh, paraffin wax but with my paraffin wax this one i have a lot of wet spots but i'm fine with that because it can't fall out the jar if you know it isn't here to the jar right but as you can see it's not that high and the wick honestly doesn't really favor when so it kind of does but you know it's still like high up i can hold it it's really it's really really not that high at all honestly and as you can see with me tilting it 
you see all that wax hang up there still so well, not even wax hang up it's just like the bottom of the milk pool where, where the wax isn't melted yet the milk pool is not that deep at all which is really good so because i was i was like concerned even in the first to second hour of me you know looking at the jar you know testing it and whatnot and burning it it had already melted you know it already melted half of the wax on one side and it cleaned the jar um so i was thinking that okay you know i was making sure i was trying to make sure it didn't burn too hot um obviously it's not it does have a bit of a tall flame but it developed you know it's been burning for about what eight hours now because it's i burned it I started it at 2.44 and it's now 11.16, I think. So it's been going for a little bit, almost 10 hours, 9 hours now. Um, so it's been doing really good for where it is. And it has also developed a little mushroom right here. It's not even that big, I have to turn it. It's just little carbon dots. So as you can see, the wick is a little longer here. And it also, like, it's a wick that kind of leans a little bit, as you can see with this one. It kind of folds over within itself. Okay, so I just started burning it. It is almost an hour in. As you can see, we have a few inches of unmelted wax over there. And then we have a little less, but about an inch and a half left over this side. We have a nice tall flame profile. This I was looking and it smells really, really good. This is my uh, pineapple candle that I poured the earliest, I think on the second. So it's been going on almost five or six hours now. Clean size is developed. Now this one has developed a mushroom. And what y'all can tell. Look like one big leaf. Oh, he just fell. One big leaf. And a small leaf. This is how it's so deep we are with the milk pool. So this is my sweet passion candle that I have in here going. This one is one of my um, best performing scents in my last wax and it still performs pretty good. Now what I will say is that my hot dog, even though it has only been about five, four, maybe six days of cure time for some of my candles, um, it still smells really good. I think it smells best in probably enclosed rooms, you know, with the doors, you know, semi-closed. But this one does have a pretty good hot throw. So this one is doing uh, pretty good. Even in the open space, it did pretty good. Now this candle, this candle has not the best of hot throw. Um, it is good in the enclosed room. As you can see, I had the door closed and I opened it up. It does do best in, a, in smaller rooms. That's reasonable anyway, because um, these candles are one wick. You know, they are coconut slash soy waxes now. And uh, not only is it one wick, it is a, you know, a smaller jar. So these jars honestly are, are supposed to be for small to medium sized rooms and double wick, you know, and triple wick counters are for bigger areas and spaces. So that's, that makes sense, you know. So you still smell it and it does still smell good. You do smell it in smaller rooms. But I will say this is one of the weaker ones out of this candle and my other candle that is burning. So this one I will recommend only for small rooms. And this one and the other one for small to medium sized rooms. And yes, and then obviously medium to large sized rooms when I start working on my double wick jar recipes. You can see it mushroom like crazy. But it's doing good though. Not too and this is how my passion fruit candle is going it had i'm not sure if i have that clip but it had a bit of hang up around here i think i did put it in my nose though it had a big of hang up left after i trimmed it so it wasn't burning as hot um but i let it continue to burn for a few more hours yesterday extinguished it and then burned it today and here's where we are so we are clearly at the bottom as you can see this one burned all the way down and it burned really good clean size little to no uh so it has a little blackening here 
but for the most part we honestly got no soot other than if i needed to trim it you see those little ashes down those those little trimmings other than me trimming a little bit it would make one little gust of smoke and it disappear and so you know we got a little bit here it looks worse on camera but we got this little bit here but as you can see the rest of the sides are clear so as you can see this one has been a really good and it smells really good as well this is okay so i almost forgot to show y'all uh because i kind of ended the video abruptly but this is the scented well the unscented candle that i was testing on as you can see like a really really clean burn little to no soot that was i think i did that um and this is how it's looking so i've already as you know i've already made one tester which was because i have so many videos backed up and it has been like 20 days since i made this candle and tested it i made the first candle that y'all see in this current video which is right here i've already tested it all the way down and it succeeded but what I will say with, I think the only, obviously it passes, like it does a really clean burn, it's not too hard to touch, there's barely any soot or smoke. So I did pretty good off of my first try of um, testing, so I did good for it to be my first week that I tried. The only thing is, I'm not sure, because I'm, I'm used to paraffin, so I'm used to like, even with a a small three inch candle with one singular wick I'm, I'm used to smelling it all the way down the hall you know this one you still smell it you smell it in an enclosed room like in a small room like in the bathroom door shed or something like that and you can smell it obviously you know what if it's done good or not and if it has a good scent or not the only thing is is that i'm so used to it being so potent type thing so where this it smells good and it's i know it's for smaller rooms but to me not it doesn't seem like a fail it doesn't seem it's just not as potent that i'm used to as you know paraffin so i don't want to fail it that's why i still i'm still thinking about trying igi 6006 but i don't want myself in that same predicament of paraffin uh, even though i eliminate all the other problems I still put myself in the fact of paraffin that setting off my allergies or being too strong or it having you know sinkhole issues and also it being a harder wax to wick yeah i thought i said that right okay it's a bit of a tongue twister, but I think it's going to be the end of this video. Um, I tested pretty much majority of my scents. I know it was everywhere, but that's just how it was. So I made these candles from February 29th, March 1st, and to March the 2nd for the rest of the candles. And it is currently March 21st, and my birthday is in two days, March 23rd. Mm -hmm. um, wish me a happy birthday. Go ahead. Okay. But, um, and a way you can do that, like the video. <laughs> but yeah, so it is March 21st, and a few of these I waited only like five days to test. I waited seven days, eight days. You know, I'm not burning multiple candles at once, I'm just burning one at once. Now I'm burning two at once, but I want to get used to the wax and, and kind of just hone in on one, you know, and be able to make sure I smell that one before I just have all these scents, you know, different scents going. So I was burning one, but now I'm burning two right now just to, you know, to begin it out there. And I wanted, honestly, to make sure that the rest of this wax was going to, um, you know, melt at the bottom, and it did. And it's honestly, it's still not even too hot. Now, my paraffin wax, it got hot. This one, is not even that hot. And it's all the way down there, too. You really was burning all the way down there. But I just wanted to see what's going to get the rest of that wax, to be honest. And then, you know, if it was going to put a lot of smoke and soot around the jar like my paraffin wax did when it was burning at the bottom. This is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I still have another video coming, I think, after this. And I have plenty of videos, you know, before this that I've already linked up there. Um, and they are also in my playlist. I have one for candle making, candle testing, studio vlogs. Um, and you know, just real life vlogs too. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and watch out for my new vlog.